actually, when we formed Impulse Gear, we formed the company around making games for virtual reality, and specifically making first-person shooters for virtual reality. So Farpoint is a sci-fi shooter for PlayStation VR, and with Farpoint, we really wanted to bring that core game experience to uh, PSVR owners. We're trying to break down those barriers of what it takes to create great experiences for virtual reality. When we were developing Farpoint, we really did develop it with the controller in mind. We worked with the Sony team in Japan with the goal in mind of creating this controller that's perfect for first-person shooters. So when we were coming up with the concept for the AIM controller and how it would work in Farpoint, we really took you know, some of the existing things out there. We started with a, a really kind of hacked together version of it that we had built ourselves. We had uh, basically elastic bands and, and modeling clay. We wanted to make sure that we had a controller that would work for all consumers. Everything about the controller, it being very light, it being very ergonomic. We've actually built a left-handed mode in entirely. All the, the controls are within reach. All the analog sticks, all the buttons are are there, you're not having to plug anything in, and you have great uh, haptic feedback as well. You put the headset on, you put the aim controller in your hands, and you just know how to use it right away. I think when you're inside of Farpoint, you wanna be able to play it without really thinking about the fact that you're holding the controller. We, we really want that experience to be as immersive as possible. The really amazing thing about it is the one-to-one -one interactivity. So you hold it in your hands, and exactly how you move it, that's exactly what you'll see in VR. You can look down and your hands match up with what you're seeing in-game. The, the like tilt to lean around corners, or the blind firing, and all of those types of things, those elements are all just naturally built into the way that you're using the aim controller now. It offers more precise aiming and everything else compared to a regular controller. We really put a lot of thought into making sure that the design of the weapons that we have in the game physically match the way that you're holding the aim controller. That kind of immersion, I think it really brings people into the world. Having that controller in your hands and seeing it represented in-game, one-to-one, you know, that really brings that whole experience to a whole new level. And that was our goal. It wasn't to build some abstract controller. It was to build the best controller for a first-person shooter. And working with Sony, we had the opportunity to do that. We're really excited to see what other devs will do with it as well. I, I'm really hoping that, that gamers see this as a kind of transformative experience that really expands on what first-person shooters can be in the future.